It's going to be the deep south in the desert. When Alabama and Clemson face off the national title on January 11th, both of them with decisive wins in semifinal games. These two teams came in number one and number two in the college football playoff, but I don't know that anybody expected them to win as thoroughly as they did on Thursday. Clemson dispatched Oklahoma, blowing the game open in the second half. Alabama traded punts with Michigan State for a quarter and a half and then blew out the Spartans. This is going to be a great game because remember, the games Alabama has lost in recent years, most of them against mobile quarterbacks. They're going to see the best mobile quarterback and probably the best quarterback in the country in Clemson's Deshaun Watson. Watson will make it much harder for that Alabama front seven to load up and stop Derrick Henry. His mobility will also allow Clemson to keep plays alive and maybe throw down the field. That was an issue with Connor Cook in Michigan State on Thursday. Cook has decent wheels, but nothing like Watson. And Cook was just getting hammered in the pocket. Watson will move the pocket around or take off running for a first down. That makes Alabama have to play him differently. It's much easier for Alabama to play Connor Cook because of the style Michigan State plays on offense. Watson's not going to let him do that. But meanwhile, Alabama has a pretty good athlete at quarterback in its own right. Jake Coker looked at as a game manager all season, but this is a guy who, when they needed him, to make big throws against Michigan State because Michigan State was shutting down Derrick Henry. Coker came through in a big way. So Alabama's offense is probably a little more diverse than we thought. We know what Alabama's defense is. Best front seven in the country. They're going to have to stop Wayne Gallman and Deshaun Watson. We'll see if that can happen because this is going to be the biggest rushing challenge that Alabama's faced because Watson will be the best overall quarterback that the Crimson Tide has faced. It is going to be a very fun national title game. Two teams that left no doubt in the semifinals will meet for the national title January 11th in Glendale, Arizona.